If you're looking for an affordable, attractive, useful vehicle, maybe you should think about a Buick. Yeah, a Buick. I'm Tom Volk for the Seattle International Auto Show, and this is the new Invista. The first ever, as automakers like to say. It's the first Buick to get the updated tri-shield and nose off the Wildcat concept vehicle. You'll be seeing this face a lot as it makes its way across all of the brand's cars, or should I say SUV crossovers, because that's all Buick offers now. In my week with this, for some reason, it grabbed a lot of eyeballs, more so than usual. So I started asking people how much they thought it might cost, spoke to about a dozen, most of them on the younger side. Nobody guessed under $40,000. The sweet spot was 45 to 50 grand. One guy thought it was $75,000. So here is the Monroney to this particular car, what a lot of people call the window sticker. Yeah, it's just over $29,000. So obviously, Invista makes a good first impression. Take a peek inside this mid-level sport touring model and it continues to impress. There's a wide digital display that was exclusive to luxury cars just a few years back. Some materials have the look of a Volvo I used to own. This is heated, these are too. Uh, no, it's not real leather, but friends and family will never know. The average vehicle transaction these days is in the high $40,000 range. It says a lot about how Invista presents itself. It's built on the same architecture as the new Chevy Trax, if you prefer to arrive wearing a bow tie. The updated 1.2-liter turbocharged three-cylinder is good for 137 horsepower and 162 pound-feet of torque. It's the base engine in Encore GX. Trax uses it too. And Vista is front-wheel drive only. That will disappoint some hoping for a Subaru Crosstrek competitor. The six-speed gearbox lever takes up some console space, but it has a great feel. No paddle shifters. Manual control is done here. And no drive modes. Buick believes it has set Invista up perfectly. Invista isn't particularly powerful, but neither are the competitors, right? As far as acceleration goes, I would say this is mid-pack, if not one of the quicker ones. If you brake torque launch this, I would say you could hit 60 miles an hour in just over nine seconds. There's the possibility that younger buyers may consider Invista over front-wheel drive versions of Honda HRV, Toyota Corolla Cross, Kia Seltos, Volkswagen Taos, and Nissan's Budget Kicks because traditionally, Buick is more of a premium brand. Buicks are supposed to have two things, right? A plush ride and a quiet cabin. This has both. Within reason, it is an inexpensive car. It has active noise cancellation, so it's fairly quiet in here. Plus, the suspension is a little bit on the firm side, so it's controlled, but it is comfortable. The front suspension is McPherson Strut. This car is equipped with a $1,000 Experience Buick package, so the rear suspension is upgraded to Watts Link. The shifts of the six-speed are nice and smooth. That's not an issue, but on a steep grade like this, it does like to hold on to taller gears and it causes the engine to lug a bit. It doesn't like to downshift. That's where a sport drive mode would help. Invista isn't a powerhouse, but still, when I had five adults on board, it scampered up one of Seattle's steepest streets without an issue. Nearly all modern cars have an automatic engine stop start system. The one in the Invista is... Pretty smooth on shutdown. Uh, startup? Also, not bad. Pretty smooth. Chances are you won't turn it off. 
Those are supposed to save fuel, and Vista is solidly mid-pack in that department. The EPA rates the average at 30 miles per gallon, better than HRV, a smidge more thirsty than Taos, Corolla Cross, and Seltos. Automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection is standard. The base ADAS safety tech is modest. Equipped with the $600 advanced safety package, and Vista adds adaptive cruise control and blind spot warning. It's worth the money. More details about the cabin. Overall, it's pleasant in here with good visibility. The ST is a mid-tier model, probably the one that most people will buy. There's some unexpected details happening. Padding where you want it, stitching where you'll see it. Heck, I'd like to see this door panel pattern in the more expensive Encore GX, even seat piping. Plus, there's set and forget automatic climate. The dash screen is two displays fused to look like one. The interface side looks good and operates well. Uh, there's not a lot to control since this is a basic vehicle. There's phone projection, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are wireless, and a Qi charger too. It works well with my iPhone 13 Pro. Many of them don't. The unbranded sound system is respectable for a budget vehicle. There's decent punch. There's enough room for three average-sized adults to travel across town in the back row. Two will be quite comfortable with good head, knee, leg, and foot room. Plus, they can charge phones. There are places for a water bottle, but no cup holder. My tester has the optional powered tailgate, part of a $600 package. This MacGyver storage hack keeps the security shade from being damaged when hauling taller things. Nice touch. I don't have a half gallon of milk. One would fit nicely here. There is the trend of not supplying a spare tire. Glad Buick isn't affected by peer pressure. In seats down, max cargo configuration. In Vista holds 42 cubic feet of gear. With all seats filled, there's nearly 21 cubic feet, three shy of Encore GX, though in the real world, they hold about the same. In Vista's lower and sloping roof line might keep large boxes from being loaded. If high prices have kept you out of a new car, and Vista could be something to consider. If you're looking for something practical, stylish, and affordable, uh, the Buick and Vista kind of checks all the boxes. Plus, being a Buick, it's not a budget brand, so you get a little bit of a luxury halo. It's $29,000, very well equipped. It's a good deal. Maybe it's time to dust off the brand's old slogan, wouldn't you really rather drive a Buick? Check it out at your local Buick showroom if you're looking for value. For the Seattle International Auto Show, I'm Tom Volk.